I had some nails made of iron, and I wanted to do something with them, so I put them in sulfuric acid. The iron reacts with the acid to produce iron sulfate. Then I put everything in a jar, and I started adding sodium hydroxide. The iron sulfate reacted with the hydroxide, and iron 2 hydroxide, which is green, was produced. A few hours later it started turning brown, which was because of the oxidation of iron 2 hydroxide into iron 3 hydroxide, which is brown. Then I waited for it to dry, which took over a week. And a week later I was left with something that looks like shit. This is potassium permanganate, a strong oxidizing agent. Potassium permanganate oxidizes the glycerin and causes it to catch fire. The color of the flame is purple because cations of potassium release purple light. To make iodine, I use sulfuric acid and potassium iodide. They react and produce iodine. The gas you see is iodine and sulfur dioxide. When the reaction is over, we're left with a lot of mess and solid iodine. This is iodine, one of my favorite elements. It stains almost everything it touches, it's toxic, and it has a strong tendency to turn into gas. Even at room temperature you can see the purple fumes, and with a little more heat, it looks like that. And I'm gonna show you how to make it in the next video. This is how you can make hydrogen balloons at home. To do it, we use sodium hydroxide, which is a drain cleaner, and aluminum foil. The reaction of them releases hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table. It's lighter than air, and even lighter than helium. The iron reacts with the acid to produce iron sulfate. Then I started adding sodium hydroxide. The iron sulfate reacted with the hydroxide, and iron 2 hydroxide, which is green, was produced. A few hours later it started turning brown, which was because of the oxidation of iron 2 hydroxide into iron 3 hydroxide, which is brown. This is a red cabbage, and I know that it's gross and stinky, but there is something cool about it. It's a pH indicator. It changes its color in the presence of different levels of pH. So we start by cutting it and putting it in hot water. 10 minutes later, the water will turn blue. When the pH is lower than 7, its color is pink. When it's higher than 7, it's green or yellow. When it's 7, it's blue. And when you put it in bleach, it loses its color and becomes transparent. Now do add me and let's see who does it better. Today, I made a carbon snake. For this reaction I use sulfuric acid, which is a really strong acid, and sugar. The acid dehydrates the sugar, meaning takes the water out of it. And this leaves us with mostly carbon. Let's make gummy bear rockets. This is potassium chlorate, a white powder which is a strong oxidizing agent. Melting it causes it to break into KCl and oxygen gas. This oxidizes the sugar in the gummy bear and causes it to catch fire.